hurry back home to find my prince. His kiss would be the act of true love I needed. But Hans would not kiss me. He had only been pretending to love me so he could eventually become the ruler of Arendelle. Now that I was almost frozen, Elsa was the only one standing in his way. Hans locked me in the library, and I was so cold I could barely move. I thought I'd never see my sister again, and I could not warn her about Hans. I was feeling hopeless. Until Olaf showed up and helped me escape. He said Kristoff loved me, and that if it was his kiss, that would save me. I headed into the storm to find Kristoff, but instead I found Hans about to strike Elsa with his sword. I could not let him hurt her. Instead of going to Kristoff, I ran to, to stand in front of my sister, and that's when I turned to ice. But a moment later, something incredible happened. I began to thaw. My act of true love had saved me, my sister, and our kingdom. That's because this is a special book. It has Anna's story and my story. So now it's my turn to read you my story. And it's called Elsa's Icy Magic. I'm Elsa, Queen of Arendelle. My coronation was a complete disaster, thanks to my sister Anna. She pulled off my glove while we were arguing about her engagement to Prince Hans, and I accidentally froze everything in sight. I had kept my magical power a secret for years, and now everyone in the kingdom thought I was dangerous. That's you. That is me, in my coronation dress. Just like me. Yes. <laughs> well, you, you have honest. So I fled to the North Mountain where I built a magnificent ice palace. I was alone, but I was finally free to use my powers. I had never felt so happy. Then I Anna have arrived. No costume. You do? Oh. But it's not like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then Anna arrived with terrible news. I had frozen the entire kingdom. She wanted me to unfreeze it, but I didn't know how. Suddenly I lost control of my magic and accidentally hit her with an icy blast. If only she'd listened when I told her to leave. Hans arrived next with men who surrounded me. I tried to use my magic to defend myself, but Hans said people would be believe that I was a monster if I used my icy powers. I didn't want to hurt anybody, so I stopped, and the guards captured me. Back in Arendelle, I was locked in a dungeon, and Hans warned me that some people wanted you to punish me. I was locked in a dungeon. I was locked in a dungeon. He warned me that some people wanted to punish me for freezing the kingdom. He thought that if I brought back summer, everything would be okay again. But I didn't know how to end the winter. They just needed to let me go. To make matters worse, Anna had not returned home. I knew I was a danger to her and to Arendelle, but I was trapped and I was feeling so frustrated that suddenly I lost control of myself. Icy blasts burst open my chains and crumbled the dungeon wall so I could escape into the storm. All and you I opened that trap too. Yes, I did. And, to, and you froze everything. Right? I did freeze everything. All I could think about was taking my magic you far, far, right? far away. I was scared. I didn't want to hurt anybody else. But Hans appeared and told me that my sister had perished. When I had accidentally hit her with my icy blast, I had frozen her heart. Devastated, I fell to the ground and the storm stopped. Hans raised his sword and suddenly Anna appeared and jumped between Hans and me. The sword hit her instead and broke. Anna was frozen solid. I wrapped my arms around my frozen sister and wept for all the years we'd spent apart. That was you. Yeah. And turn, turn the other pig around. This is, this is Anna's story. Know, then something amazing down. happened. Anna thawed and hugged me back. I had found my sister again, and I was never going to let her go. Um, and we got to do the other part. I we already did the other part. See? We did that one. Yeah. That was Anna's story. Yeah. 